In this video, I want to show you new releases that follow the shoe trends of spring-summer 2023. Not only did you get to enjoy the new trends, but I searched for high-quality, affordable shoes that you won't regret buying at the end of the season. Everything is linked down below for you. And I'm going to start with my favorite pick for this video, the Castaner Wedges. Now, you probably haven't heard about this brand before. Don't worry, neither have I until a few years ago. Now, they make these fabric and leather wedges in Spain. The reason why I heard about them is because of the UK royal ladies. Yes, from Princess Kate to her sister Pippa to Megan, these are the go-to ankle tie wedges as pedrils. They're not even that expensive for the quality offered. The market is just saturated with synthetic man-made materials which are all at a higher price point. So this pair is $140 right now, blue Bloomingdale's has 25-30% off in the weekends. I got mine for around $100 and they are worth it. I've tried other similar brands that I wish I stopped compromising on quality because they all end up giving me blisters or hurting me on the long run. Now this pair is comfortable and adjustable for your own foot. The heels in particular have this airy gap and the tie is flexible so you can tighten it around the heel to fit you best. Now what stood out to me in the design is this thin leather lining here where it rubs against your skin not to give you a rug burn and then towards the toe it's textile very strategically made so that your feet can breathe during warm months and not keep the moisture locked in. Now there are plenty of heights and colors to choose from. The details of the tie even have this leather at the end. It's very well made and this piece you can wear for lots and lots of seasons. It's definitely a brand to pay attention to in the future. We are starting high with these Jeffrey Campbell mules. They're sexy, comfortable, and edgy. They remind me of the Y2K trend in the 90s. I was wearing these with cropped jeans and a mini denim skirt. I particularly like that the toes are covered. You don't need to worry about the perfect pedicure. And the best part, there are less chances to get blisters. I always worry about straps for this reason, but most leather open toe should fix this issue. Now these have a leather upper and lining which is the inside part touching your skin. Very important to have soft leather lining for comfort and stretch to mold around your feet. Soft leather shouldn't give you blisters. They are four inches height, not meant for a long stroll but whether a night out or a day activity. Their rhinestones are also popular to add a bit of sparkle. Extra elongating when a neutral shade because of the pointy toe, I would size up half a size for more comfort and a wider toe box. Now another lower option are these kitten sorel mules with a black heel, so cute and wearable. They have leather exterior and lining, edgy looking and most importantly comfortable. This is a wear all day long pair that can easily be styled from floral dresses to white pants. The woven trend we've seen this season in handbags as well. Here is a beautiful leather pair, airy and breezy. It matches so well with a Madewell handbag. Now, a couple of elements that I see in this pair. The ankle strap looks and feels alluring, regardless of the heel height. The natural color gives a little frame to the ankles without standing out too much and distracting the eye from your legs. Now, the almond shape is to elongate. I always look for flattering shoes that add to the appearance, not subtract. It's also a nice example for the au naturel trend we see worn now. And for an even breezier option, here's a pair of woven leather slides from Madewell. Comfortable, neutral, no fuss, and very wearable. Now, if you notice, the slightly wider straps, not too wide, just enough to not dig into the skin. This pair will take 
take you throughout the whole day running errands without breaking a sweat or a blister. It's an understated staple. Let's switch gears with one of the hottest trends of 2023, the platforms. And not any platforms, but the cobalt blue and rainbow or blue shades in this pair from Jeffrey Campbell. I really like this fun style for when you want to look fashionable and feel like yourself away from the daily routine. This is why I enjoy dressing differently on the weekend and this platform will do it for you. It's such a sex and a city pair, full leather, which is appreciated. I wouldn't have picked it otherwise. And the delicate thin strap, the butterfly detail is so unique and the multi-blue shade for variety. Now it does stand out, but with a denim skirt or a crop jeans to make sure the ankles are out, it's a must have statement piece. And there's also the pink version with more colors for a girly look and in the brown shade for a demure appearance. For the super strappy shoe lovers, here's a new release in the gladiator style. We've heard about this trend featured on the runways, we've seen it, and we finally see it in the stores. Now don't worry, it doesn't look as complicated to wear as you think. Now once you adjust the buckles to fit around your calves, you can easily zip it up and down from the back, which makes it quick to put on and take off. I really like these kind of fashion styles because if you pick the neutral or brown color for example depending on the closest shade to your skin worn with shorts it's not a flashy look but once you get closer to someone paying attention to your legs they can tell it's an out of the ordinary pair of shoes and you will inevitably get complimented on now to me it's this kind of item that brings a sense of style to the outfit without overdoing it Life in plastic, ladies. You probably heard of Melissa's shoes. They are made in Brazil with fruity scented PVC. They're recyclable. And if you want to wear plastic, well, this is the brand for you. They first came out with girl shoes and they made the cutest designs that are wearable and very, very feminine. I later discovered the women's styles a few years ago and I can attest that even after a year in storage, they still smell really good. I really like these bow additions for water activity. They're just so stylish and comfortable, which is hard to find in plastic shoes. Lovely it colors for this season's trends, the violet, the rose pink, and fuchsia. They're a fashion statement for when you want to look cute and stand out. You can also find jelly flats and sandals, kitten sandals, kitten heels, the puffy style, which is on trend right now, same as sandal platforms, which are not popular the clear heels with a platform combination and I think this less jelly flat style is one of their best selling ones for all day wear lots of options to choose from we have to have sneakers and not the ordinary ones but you know my standard for white leather sneakers has substantially gone up and I hope yours too you know there's some serious competition on the market for them pretty much all brands out there make pure white sneakers and that's good and bad we now have to figure out which one is worth it well this pair from Cole Haan is top rated on Nordstrom hundred Hundreds of women love them for style and comfort. The slight platform is well hidden, very sleek, and do we need anything else really? There are neutrals and black options as well if you want to match with your outfit. I do like black for outdoor activities to match the sportswear, which is usually black. I find the white version blends in the platform the best, making it unnoticeable. Ladies, remember, you don't need an entire collection. One, maximum two sneakers for fashion wear and you're all set. Mary Jane. Let's see some Mary Jane styles. Yes, they are popular, but also flattering and so delicate. The little strap across the top is the detail we all need to harness our feminine energy and showcase it. This pair from Vagabond Shoemakers is a must-have. It's simple, very well-made, 
quality leather and has nothing else added that will scream 2023, which is what we want if planning on bringing these beauties out season over season. This is the classical look, and the reason why I think they are must have is because I've seen the luxury brand version from the row, which is pretty much identical, for six times the price. Now, you be the judge. A similar style with double strap is from Coach Lovely Color, another simple, effortless, timeless design which can easily be worn with pretty much everything from shorts to skirts, from commuting to office to weekend wear. And next are sandals. Saving the best for last, this summer strands are open kitten heels beautiful bright colors and a lot of openness. I've looked at leather options and they're not that many. Here's a French style from La Jeans made in Spain, simple, sophisticated, and incredibly alluring. The white has the round toe and the pink has a square one, an elegant option for minimal wear. I for one am not a logo showcasing person, but this Tory Burch pair seems less noticeable. I like the overall style, the color, the minimal, but still curved heel and details. It's another example that I can see being worn for lots of years without looking dated. And this last pair from Mango is the heel we will see everywhere. The slightly inward shape, which is all the rave. The top is leather and that's why it's not $50, but the delicate straps, the barely there fact, the lower heel leaves room for the foot to be displayed and supported with the grace. This is what I call attractive heels. I hope you found some beautiful and comfortable shoes to wear this season. Now, if you're interested in the top 10 handbag trends to match these shoes, then here's a video for you coming up. I'll see you there next.